check on your bisexual friends today, guys. Because we're, we're truly in the motherfucking trenches with this movie. Oh, God. I love you. I love you, Nicholas Galaxy, and I really, really do. angle my camera a little bit so y'all can see <laughs> um go watch my premiere video if you haven't already it was a blast I went to two different premieres shenanigans ensued um and today we're gonna be watching the movie together okay so I want to make a disclaimer before we begin here um that is I liked this movie I read the book as most of you probably know who clicked on this video i detest the book i have so many problems with it um that still stands despite my thoughts on the movie um but i did want to disclaim that i did really love this movie i feel like a lot of the issues that i had with the book were changed in a way that i liked in the movie um so if you are watching this as like a ooh. Can't wait to watch her drag this movie to filth for two hours. Uh, that's not what this is gonna be. So if you have, like, if you don't like this movie, if you have problems with it for any which, for any reason, and watching a complimentary commentary video of it is something you don't vibe with, this is your disclaimer now. Um, but I'm gonna be talking about why I liked the movie. I'm gonna be talking about why I liked it in comparison to the book, um, in contrast to the book, and about the things that I feel like were changed in a way that improved on a lot of the issues that I had. Um, my thoughts on the book still stand. I stand by everything that I said in that video. Um, and I was truly so pleasantly surprised with this movie because I did go into it with the preconceived thoughts of the book and the issues that I had, um, and came away from it feeling like a lot of improvements were made. Um, and I just, I had a fucking blast watching this movie, not once, but twice in theaters, and I cannot watch, cannot wait to watch it again a third time today with you guys, um, and break it down. So welcome back. If you're new here, uh, this is a series that I have on my channel covering Nick Gallatin's entire filmography. Nicky Boy has a new movie out that just came out this week, The Idea of You, starring him and Anne Hathaway, based on a Harry Styles fan fiction, although the cast and crew will do everything they can to avoid admitting that. Um, I know that in my soul. You know that in your soul. Um, and that's just what makes it even more fun. So anyway, you can watch the other videos that I have covering his stuff. Um, we're, sl we're making it through. We're, we, there's still some older things that we have to go back and do, but I recently just did the entirety of Mary and George in a three-part series. Um, his new stars show that was excellent. Already doll of the day, I picked this girly because I feel like she fits the August moon aesthetic like perfectly like look at her shirt she has little moons on her socks like this is an august moon groupie if i've ever seen one so that's the bestie that we're going with today and let's get started the call me by your name ass font is like really sending me mommy this movie is lethal bisexual warfare for me. Like, truly, like, Nick and Anne are, like, two of my biggest celebrity crushes, just, like, on their own. So, like, putting them together, like, I... I'll get it. Okay, this movie was made for me, and me only. I'm not really into them anymore. Pause! Oh, we immediately need to discuss, because we're... Listen, we're gonna be talking about the, the, the differences and things, but I, I think that... Because, like, obviously Izzy's much older in this. Um, she was, like, 12 in the book, but I think that the fact that she's, like, not an August Moon fan anymore makes such a difference. Because, like, in the book, she was, like, a fan girl because she was 12. Like, she was, like, actively obsessed with this fan. And it was also, like, in the sort of, like, 2014 era where they were going to a One Direction concert, um, instead of Coachella. Which, so I'm, like, I just feel like that... I don't know. It just, like, makes such a difference. I love that she's like does not give a fuck about August Moon anymore. It's great. Talented female Do you think Izzy listens to Chapel Round? I think Izzy listens to Chapel Round. Look at how she's dressed. Like look at those shorts. I think Izzy listens to Chapel Round. Renee Rap. She definitely listens to Renee Rap. Turn that shit up. This movie's so fun! This movie's so fun! How can you not- how can you not stand? It's so fun! 
Womp, 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 womp. I love Anne Hathaway. Take a shot every time I say I love Anne Hathaway, except don't do that because you will collapse. Something about Anne Hathaway in blue. She wears so much blue in this movie. The audacity! I need to be on the marketing team for this movie because why was there not a screening at Coachella, y'all fumbled. It was literally like two weeks ago, y'all fumbled. Also, Izzy's outfit, that might be Daisy Jones. That might be Daisy Jones. Y'all, nothing could have prepared me for the book that she put on her back. What? I said, yeah, don't mind me, I'm just over here reading Normal People by Sally Rooney at Coachella. Oh, it's so camp. So how do I get that t-shirt? How do I get that poster? I need y'all to step up your merch game, okay? Hi. 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 The black hole. Oh my god, oh my god. Get ready for Thirst Central for the next hour, however fucking long this video is. It's like not even funny. <laughs> it's not literally mine. You know, I don't own it. It's not literally it's mine. mine. He's so insane for this. Like, he's <laughs> immediately pulled it. Immediately was like, do you want to, like, do you want to, like, do you want to, like, he's just like me. Like, he's just like, like, look at her. Are you joking? Like, I'm afraid this movie is the most realistic film to ever be made because, like, that's an incredibly appropriate reaction to running into Anne Hathaway. The back tattoo. <laughs> this is just too good. Like, this is really, this is really, like, too excellent. I don't even... <laughs> <laughs> this is me if I ever meet Nick Galaxy. <laughs> Saturday was George of Bows. And a daddy was a <laughs> He's so chatting! I'm gonna explode. He's just built different. He's, he's, he's deep. He's into art. <laughs> like, this movie's so fun! Y'all hate fun! Y'all hate fun! Oh my god, everybody shut the fuck up. I was foaming at the mouth waiting for this song to come out. This should have been one of the singles. This song is so good! This is literally everything. Everything about this is perfect. Like, just all of the performance aspect of this, like, they committed to it so hard. Oh yeah. Also, I love that Nick was like, I can't dance, and like, I'm gonna, I look so stupid next to all these dancers, and like, he literally looks fine. Like, he literally looks fine. He's so hard on himself. They're so cute. I love her and her daughter. Yeah! No, he's so sexy. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. They're so precious. <laughs> August Moon Tour when the amount of money I would pay to see them live, like please, 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 please. Like down bad. Down bad circa Taylor Swift 2024 is what this man is. I know that you know. I need Nick Galatine to just become an actual pop star. Like, this man has it all. He has it all. He could do it. And we're lacking in the male pop space right now. Like, look, like, the stage presence, the charisma, the swagger, the talent, like, the looks. Get him a record deal. What is going on? When I first saw this, I was thinking that, like, he was trying to say that he, like, literally wrote this, like, backstage, and this is, like, a new song, and, like, thank God that was not the case, because that- Make a move, you don't want to say goodbye, please repeat what you just did to me. 
This, like, this is camp. I'm so sorry. Like, him singing a song with the lyric, I know you're a little bit older. I, I, Coachella, like, serenading her in the crowd. Like, the fun movies are back, you guys. This is literally, like, this is such a joy. How can you... She's, she's like she's smi she's down bad. They're like she's like unseriously like she's like wow. Like Debbie Ryan, like Debbie Ryan in the fucking crowd right now. Like she's just like me though because like look at him. Yo, my CD is getting here today. <laughs> the disc is a moon. This is what I wanted. Look there. <laughs> Why did why why is the cover giving nothing? Why is the cover giving nothing? And then y'all gave me y'all gave me graphic design exactly like I wanted. <gasps> You're kidding. What's in here? Oh my god, this is literally what I wanted. <gasps> Shut up. All the fucking boy band pictures. Are you kidding me? This is truly excellent. Period. <laughs> That's so good. I'm still gonna finish my other case and I'm gonna put this disc in that case um and then i'm just gonna have both of them to display wait can i do something crazy hold on <laughs> yeah no exactly not them giving me a cracked one do you all see that amazon i swear to god oh she looks so fucking hot oh my god her makeup mm. the fringe she is the hottest person on the planet oh my god Time, that that's why. Like a community of to get closer to you. Shout out to Copernicus! <laughs> that's the funniest name for such, for the goofiest looking fish I've ever seen. Uh, his cardigan. <laughs> his little cardigan. Hey girl! Hey girl! He's just like the goofiest little individual, like in his in his silly little cardigan, his silly little hat with his silly little accent, just like I'm down fucking bad. A true lover boy, a simp, if you will. Like Nick Gallatin, the face actor that you are. Nick Gallatin, the comedy actor that you are. I need this man to get in more comedies immediately. I've known this. I've known this since Bottoms. Like, that is truly a star. This man is a star. We know this. Myth has been booked and busy consistently. We need to, we need to keep that up. Okay, we need to keep that going. Yeah. Yeah. The sweater pause. I'm, I gotta go. I literally have to leave. Look at his face card. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm so, look at the face card. Oh, I want her to look at me like that. <laughs> he thinks he's so slick. I please gamble when I got you. He's ridiculous. He's bewitched me, mind, body, and soul. What can I say? Like he's such a simp. I'm obsessed with him. I'm I'm obsessed with him. He's so silly. He's so silly. This is so fucking funny. Like y'all really hate fun. Y'all really hate fun. Because, like, how are you not, ga like, uh, giggling? Like, his little, his little outfit. <laughs> Awful, like, that's a bisexual man. Like, that's a bisexual man. Like, Hayes Campbell is bisexual. That is simply, that is simply canon. Like, you can argue with whoever you want, but it's simply a fact that Hayes Campbell is a bisexual man. Because, like, look at it. From one bisexual to another, there's only one person who can tell you who you are, and it's me, Sue Sylvester. You, Hayes Campbell, are bisexual. Like, he thinks he's so funny. I adore him. And she's eating it up. She's eating it up, as I would too. As I would too. He looks at Anne Hathaway the same way I look at Anne Hathaway. Lover boys are back, y'all. Like, lover boys. Like, Alex Claremont Diaz single handedly brought back the lover boy, and now we're following him in his footsteps. This is just a wonderful timeline. Like, look at the way he's looking at her. Like, that's literally how I look at her. Like, he's- he's- he's just like me. Like, he's one of the girls. Worshipping the ground Anne Hathaway walks on, as he fucking should. She literally looks breathtaking. Like, I, Like, just- she's glowing. Oh, whatever. He's just like me. 
We're what we, so guess, me and Hayes Campbell were like this. Because, like, this is the thing. I was saying this in my premiere video where I watched this clip initially, where it's like, this is, like, objectively, like, cringy, corny dialogue. But, like, their chemistry is so good that I'm, like, giggling and kicking my feet. Like, I'm I'm sold. Fiona Apple needle drop! Fiona Apple needle drop, guys! They're also both just such excellent actors. Like, they're both just so natural in just, like, the way that they talk and, like, deliver dialogue. And I, like, what a, what a combination, what a powerhouse combination of actors. Like, truly, like, way better than, like, a movie like this does deserves is the talent the two of them have together i think it's interesting though that she's not nearly as like wealthy as she was in the book but she was also like doing just a lot more jet setting in the book and like flying to places and meeting him and stuff and like that was like more realistic when she was like wealthier this is such a wild sequence of events like what compelled them <laughs> good show eh? i would die for him <laughs> Like, for context, like they're cute or whatever. This mo this whole monologue is so genuinely excellent. Maybe we this is this is such a banger fucking monologue like the way that she just delivers this like oh truly an actress of a generation and how way is like it's like she's really that girl like you know that feeling when you walk into a room and you know everybody was just talking about it? oh this is so good this is so good this is so and good i look i have so much to say Daniel, we'll get there Daniel, when I catch you, like, she is literally a once-in-a-generation talent. Like, why is she... Look at her, like, truly so excellent. Because, like, in the book, he didn't cheat on her. They just split up. And then his new wife or whatever, Ava, in the book was, like, in her 30s. And, like, I'm, pr like, I'm not sure how old she's supposed to be in this, but I can assume she's also supposed to be sort of, like, in her late 20s, um, because then, because of, like, stuff that happens later, but, like, this is genuinely so good. Like, I feel like this adds, like, so much to her character and so much to, like, a, like, reasoning and insecurity of, like, things that come about in the story, and, like, I just, like, they, like, they really ate this up. Like, they really ate that, like, they really ate that up, like, backstory on 10, monologue on 10, the performance of delivering that monologue, like, too good, too good. Like, Anne Hathaway put her mind, body, and soul into this movie, and, like, for what? Like, I have to thank it. I have to thank her, because, like, what a gift it is to b live in the same lifetime as Anne Hathaway. Maybe Womp womp. Womp 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 womp. It just doesn't tell the whole story. I see that. Like, shut up. Like, shut up. <laughs> you guys. Nick Piano playing Saga continues. Before we walk off the moon and I'm hitting the ground like a rocket. I'm sorry. Um, an acoustic version of this song is so fucking funny. I'm about to, I'm about to start tweaking. Like, wait, wait. <laughs> When I tell you, I'm at the first screening I went to, you could hear a pin drop in this scene. Like, everyone was holding their breath. Like, it was, it was crazy. It was truly crazy. Oh my god, I gotta go. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go, I gotta leave. I gotta leave, I gotta get out, I gotta get out of here. That should be me. Get me out of here! Get me out of here. <laughs> Literally, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. I could be your mother. You're not. But I could be. You're not. I gotta go. I gotta leave. I gotta leave. Because, like, this is exactly, this is exactly what I was, what I was afraid of. Like, the way he says that, I'm like, no, you're right. No, you're right. You're right. We'll, we'll get into that. We'll get into that. Don't even worry about it. Let's just watch how people kiss right now. I'm sorry, that's literally the most attractive thing that anyone's ever done ever. This should be, like, the release of this movie should be declared a bisexual holiday because, like, truly, the watch thing was, like, so much dumber in the book, too. He was just like, I'm gonna give this to you so that you have to give it back to me. Like, it was just so, like, okay, like, we got that. 
And he was just, like, annoying about it. They were just both so fucking annoying in this book. Like, I can't even articulate how much I hated these characters in this book. And now I'm, like, sitting here watching this giggling and kicking my feet. Like, it's truly astounding. That's crazy. Like, that's literally crazy. Like, ten more seconds, and they would have been fucked. Like, they are just, like, so cutie patootie. Like, I'm obsessed with them. She's just so hot and sexy, and I need her. When is this music video coming out? When is it coming out? I need it. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm sorry. I don't know what that was. I don't know who did that. Who did that? So I did want to make a quick note because this is something that I've seen since filming this video and I feel like people are going to point it out if I don't and I want to acknowledge that I've seen it. Um, that people pointed out that uh, there's a, like a five year timestamp on the YouTube video uh, which makes Hayes 19 in that video. And I just want to say I don't like that. I just want to put it out there that I don't like that. I, I, I don't like the implications of why they felt that was necessary. And just, it's just weird to me. So I just wanted to point out that I did see that and I don't like it. I still stand by like my thoughts of the movie in general. It's kind of weird. And yeah. Mm. Oh, that's not in the sense of that. <laughs> The, the, the soundtrack of this movie is so good! Who curated this shit? Y'all deserve a kiss on the mouth! Okay, so while we're, but while we're here, before we get into that, I want to I wanted discuss my, my views on the age gap of this. Because, um, my issue with the age gap, I'm, 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 I'm like, I'm not, I'm not too fond of age gaps in the first place. Just, like, as off the bat. I'm like, I just feel like, you know... Like, adult or not, I just feel like you should kind of just date people your own age. Obviously, there are exceptions to this, and that's sort of what we'll get into. But my my issue, really, with the book um, was that I didn't feel like their relationship was on the basis of, oh, we really like each other, we just have this like, inconvenient age gap. Like, oh, like, how, like, what a shame that, like, we are really into each other, but, like, we just happen to be, like, 15 years apart or whatever. In the book, it felt to me more that, like, Selene was attracted to him because he was so much younger than her. There. Than her. And he was attracted to her because she was so much older than him. Obviously, there was more of that as they came into a relationship, whatever. But that really seemed to be the basis of everything that happened in that book because of the way that it was written and how the character talked about it. Where, like, I, I, I went over that, like, thoroughly in my book video of how just how constantly she, Selene, as the narrator, brought up the age gap and, like, comparing, like, making, like, comments about him being, like, freshly out of his teens. He was a lot younger in the book, and I also do think that that makes a big difference, making him 24 instead of 20. You can uh, disagree with that if you, if you want to. Like, that's totally fine. That's totally fine if you disagree. Personally, I just feel like 24 is more of a a solid adult than a 20-year-old, a, a recently 20-year-old. The way it was written was just very much, like, attracted to the fetish of the age gap, where it was like, oh, X, Y, and Z are so sexy because he's so young. And that just is what made me extremely uncomfortable. And I feel like this movie scrapped most, if not all of that. The only, like, conversation that's in like any sort of like sexual context in this movie regarding the age gap is the, with the scene we just saw with their first kiss where he's just where she's just like I'm too old for you no you're not I'm old enough to be your mother blah 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 and it's like that sort of played into as like a, ooh how sexy and I, but it's, like, that is very much, like, a one-and-done thing. Like, obviously, they have, like, discussions later of, like, the, the, the age difference, but it's more so in the first instance I was talking about of, like, the weight on how that makes their relationship difficult. In my personal opinion, I felt that in this movie, these two characters genuinely liked each other and along the line loved each other. Like, that is how the how it reflected in the writing in my opinion in this and i didn't feel like it was the case of the book of like 
well, he's so hot because he's 20 years old. And, like, that really was, like, the core issue with the book. There are so many issues with the book. Um, but, like, that was the main thing that I was, like, I feel like this is, like, playing into the fetish of the age gap romance as opposed to just being about two characters who happen to have an age gap. And I feel like the movie is the latter. Like I said, you could not, you don't have to agree with that, um, but that is sort of my main thing of, like, why I feel like this movie works um, as just a rom-com, and specifically, like, in comparison to what I just did not fuck with um, about the book. So, in conclusion, I really don't have an issue with the age gap in this movie. I, especially with how it ends, especially with how they chose to sort of do the ending, which we'll get to. But, like, overall, like, as someone who's, like, always kind of icked out by an age gap and was extremely icked out by the book, I never felt that way watching this movie. And, like, naturally, I do have the bias of Nick and Anne, like, being two of my favorite actors and just, like, being, going into this, like, being excited to, like, see them, like, act together and play a couple together in a rom-com. I also, like, went into this movie expecting to just sort of, like, clown on it and be like, wow, what a silly movie based on a terrible book. Um, and I came away from it, like, genuinely really liking it and really thinking that they were very sweet together and liking their dynamic together and rooting for them as a couple, which is, quite frankly, the only goal of a rom-com, is that you want to root for the couple that it's about. Um, so that's my two cents. Because it's like, that being said, I do think aging him up a bit is like, does make a massive difference as well. Because I think that if, if the, everything in the movie was exactly the same, but he was still 20, I think I wouldn't be as like chill as I am with it now. Like, I just feel like their relationship justifies its own existence. And this movie was just more so done with the intention of like being a proper, like a rom-com, a love story, as opposed to the book which, in my opinion, came off as, like, a fetish fantasy of um, being into sort of these specific um, tropes, which the movie still is as well, and there are still tropes in here as well, and still conceptually, this movie is incredibly silly and ridiculous, but I think that by disconnecting what really, what was the core element of what made the book so problematic for me, it wasn't even about the age gap, it was about the way that the age gap was written and portrayed and how the characters viewed the age gap in reference to each other and themselves. Um, so I think, like, by disconnecting that, basically, it's, like, age gaps, especially in fiction, are just completely subjective, I, in the sense that it's, like, it's just sort of, like, a personal comfort level of, like, whether you feel that, like, in, in fiction specifically, like, whether, like, you feel that a character is adult enough for X, Y, and Z. It didn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. Um, it still bothers me in the book and will always bother me in the way that it was written and portrayed in the book. And I do think that, in conclusion, that makes it a result of the writing as opposed to the concept. So, um, Robin Lee, you're public enemy number one, basically. <laughs> that was a long tangent, but I hope you, I hope you sort of get what I'm saying here. She's just, like, the hottest person to ever live. Like, I don't even know what to tell you. Like, I don't know what you want me to say. Like, when Anne Hathaway is on my screen, other than, like, that is literally, like, one of the hottest women to ever live. Hey, baby girl. Fine. Good. Good. Uneventful. I'm gonna go insane. I, I'm genuinely, like, I'm gonna go absolutely fucking bonkers insane. Get me out of here. The way she grabs his hand. I really can't do this. Oh my god! 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 Check on your bisexual friends today, guys. Because we're we're truly in the motherfucking trenches with this movie. They are just so fucking hot together. Like, what do you mean? I need them both biblically. Like, it's really, it's not even funny. Like, I've never needed to be a third so bad in my life. What? Who said that? It's hard to see people living your dream. <laughs> this is my favorite scene in the entire movie. This is my favorite scene in the entire movie. Everybody shut the fuck up, okay? This is my Saltburn dance scene, actually. Like, this is this is to the caliber of the murder on the dance floor scene from Saltburn. Fun fact. And the fact that this entire thing is improv, like, don't touch me. Like, literally, like, get ten feet away from me. I, I... I need him biblically, astronomically, like, to a degree that is unattainable by- Oh! Like, it's not even funny. Like, it's ri- Oh my god, his fucking SMILE!
Like, they're just so sexy together. Like, what? Get me out of here. I have to go. This movie is for the bisexuals. No movie has ever been more bisexual, except possibly Challengers. This is, yeah, we're, this is a rough month for us, y'all. The galaxy, the man that you are, the actor that you are, the face card that you have. It's really just, like, it's so infuriating. His voice is really kind of ridiculous, though. Like, I need him to make an album, like, so viscerally, because, like, his, his voice is like fucking butter. Like, what are we doing here? What are we doing not oversaturating the male pop market with Nicholas Galatine's vocals? What are we doing? What are we doing? We're doing something wrong as a society. Her voice makes me want to go to war. <laughs> he's so... He's literally the prettiest man to ever exist. Like, what the fuck is this? Like, what is this? I'm, I'm like, getting angry. Like, I'm getting mad because, like, look at the face card! What is... God, he just needs to be in every movie ever. Like, he just needs to be in every movie. He's literally got everything. He's got that X fucking factor. Like, he's got it all. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I am obsessed with this montage. This mon this is, like, peak rom-com montage, like, combined with the concert shit. Like, I'm I need to, like, stand up. I need to, like, I need to, like, get up. Because I, I, I love this montage so much. His ja that jacket looks so fucking good on- Send him on tour! He looks so good! Oh! Like, how can you watch this and not say 5 out of 5 movie? Like, how can you watch this and not say, like, peak fucking rom-com? Are you kidding me? This- him doing this and like changing outfits like he's doing this at every show and like it's so cool no I I need him biblically like biblically like this is just so much fucking fun I've never had more fun in my life actually than watching this montage in this movie like, this is literally, this is pure joy. This, 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 this montage is simply pure joy, and I've never felt more joy in my life. I'm so sorry. I'm, I want to die. I want to, I want to pass away. Like, you're all invited to my fucking funeral. Play this song at my funeral. That, too, of, like, the kiss shot on the taste lyric is like, ah, editors, ah, I love y'all. Kisses. It's literally my man. Like, that's literally my man. Like, I don't know if you guys are aware, but, like, that's literally my man. Like, that is white boy of the century. That is... Oh, God. I love you. I love you, Nicholas Galaxy, and I really, really do. He's so sexy. Li I'm sorry. I, I, I can't watch this like a normal person, but y'all should, should know that already. A moment for this outfit on Hayes because this is truly one of his best fits and we literally only get this like one shot of it. He looks so good. She's literally so hot. Like I don't even get it. Like, like girly, like you are literally so smoking hot. Like why, why are we doing this? Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Just saying. He's just so fucking adorable. I love to say that Oliver is a menace in every version of this story. That's public enemy number one. Like, bro, shut the fuck up. I know. In my trailer. And then he's, you know, he's like in love with her. Like, look, like, look. He's like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would say acting his ass off, but, like, aren't we all in love with Anne Hathaway? So, like, not even. No, that's crazy. Like, this is that. This is truly, like, okay, plot. No, yeah, I was gagged. I was gagged. Your girl was gagged. Very, very beautiful. See, and, like, this scene is good, in my opinion, because it's, like, they had this kind of argument, like, ten different times, minimum, in this book. Like, that's all, that's another thing that really bothered me, is, like, they were just, like, constantly fighting. Like, I did not understand the appeal at all. Whereas, like, this scene, I feel like it works. Like, I feel like it, like, it, like, ties back in with her insecurity with what happened in, da what happened with Daniel, where she, like, pulls, like, the parallel of, like, him lying to her and, like, everybody knowing about it, and then just, like, her being like, oh my god, 
what am I doing? Like, I'm being kind of ridiculous and just sort of being like, that's on me for being ridiculous because whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just, like, I just, I don't know. I just like this work. It has, it has like the cheesy elements to it, but I think like overall, like for like story purposes, like this is like solid. Nice job. I'm sorry, is this so shocking to you that I've slept with other women? Other oh women. my god, book book Hayes and Celine just popped out. I guess swept up in the idea of you and it's been She said the thing! She said the thing! She said the thing! She said the thing! He's the prettiest fucking crier in the whole world, but we already knew that. Like I they always got him with those with those with those sad puppy eyes and everything that he's in, and it's truly what a gift because the way I was on his side in the book, like that's what's crazy. Like that's really what's crazy. Everybody cheered. No Everybody cheered. If I were to do it, it would be fine. Yeah, because I hate him and I love you. <laughs> you live there. You I mean, <laughs> I have to tell you, my daughter has had a crush on Hayes since she was like 10. She is so heartbroken. What do y'all know about Prince Henry? What do y'all know about Prince Henry? audibly gasped in the theater by myself alone <laughs> why would you wake up with a down, kind feminist like this might be the funniest movie I've ever seen like that is that is just pure camp truly yeah 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 <laughs> He got that he got that Ariana Grande, he got that Yeah. She looks so good. Um when does she not? But like I'm gonna shut up. Like what is he wearing? He's so astronomically bisexual. I'm sorry. He thinks he's so funny. He thinks he's so funny. And you know what? Maybe he is. Maybe he is. Like, how cute. Look at him. 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 Ah! Keep it. We're gonna dance. <laughs> I'm sorry, they look so good. <laughs> they look so good, man. That might be Henry Fox in Texas. That might be Henry Fox in Texas. <laughs> In the ground like a rocket. Yeah! <laughs> How long are you gonna keep up this insanity with my wife? Has anyone ever had more audacity? <laughs> I mean, you're my wife. You're the mother of my child. Like, sh what the fuck? She never had a poster of Hayes in her bedroom. It was Rory. It was always Rory. <laughs> she ate that up. I mean, Devoured. Okay. Stopped him dead in his tracks. And not the way I'm purple. And not the way I'm purple. Whatever you do, don't think about Henry and Alex. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't think about it. Like, just like, look. Just, just like him. There's no second half to that sentence. Like, just, just, just. It is. I would go to, like, the kind of, the, the face, the kind of face card you would go to war for. I could quit, I could quit all of it. I'm fine with doing that. I could do that. Oh my god, like, that's a man. He's the prettiest crier in the whole entire world. It's really not fair. It's genuinely so unfair. Beautiful. Oh my god. And like with like the music and like they're both just so stunning and being hot and kissing and like what else could you possibly need from a movie honestly? Like I don't know like what you what else you want me to say. Like this really breaks my heart. Like this really makes me so sad. Like fuck you. <laughs> like fuck you. Fuck whoever wrote this fucking script. Like goddamn. The fucking watch like oh they really ate that up and because it comes back again you'll see i'll point it out for you don't even worry about it the way i literally thought 
the movie was over, I was about to kill myself. Like, I was about to, like, walk into oncoming traffic when I thought this was the end of the movie. Lock your doors. <laughs> oh, 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 you think this is funny. I'm going to say something crazy. Okay, I'm going to say something incredibly controversial. I need you to walk with me here. I think he looks so good with the facial hair. Like, I know! I know! I know! Pro I know! Controversial take. The girly, the girlies are- it, The discourse on the Twitter timeline, okay? I think he looks so good. I'm- I think he looks so good. I'm so sorry. And like- Them having him do like the Harry Styles solo career, like, it's too good! It's really- it's really too excellent. Just the commitment to the bit that this movie is. Close enough! Welcome back, Harry Styles! Close enough! I just- and I also just love the idea of him just being so down bad that he's just writing songs about her for five years! Like, that's so... Uh, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Answer the question! <laughs> like, he looks so good here! Like, look me in the eye and tell me he doesn't! I dare you! Look at him! Yeah. Look, is it silly and ridiculous? They're like, okay, we have to make him look older. We're gonna give him fake facial hair. Absolutely. But like, like I'm sad. Like I, I'm. It's just about you know getting through the tour, and I think after that, I I've scheduled. Okay, I'm gonna go crazy, guys. I'm gonna go crazy for a minute here because the way that the, that the doors are blue and she's wearing red, and in the first scene where they were in the gallery, she was wearing blue and the doors were red. <laughs> like I'm <laughs> like. Try not to say cinema challenge because, like, what the what the fuck do you mean? Look at her fucking wrists, bro. What the fuck is she wearing? What the fuck is she wearing? Exactly. That's a rom com. That like they did it. We did it. We've we we've, we've done it. We've achieved it. We've uh, we're here. Like, no! I refuse. I refuse! I refuse! I won't! I won't do it! I already- I already cried in the theater! I'm not doing it again! I can't give- I can't give- I can't give them about the satisfaction! Fuck you! Mm-mm! Like- A moment for this fucking song! A moment of silence! For the ballad! The ballad! That is the- that is the title track! Get him a fucking record contract immediately. Yeah! I live there! I live there! They filmed that here! We did it, Joe! That was the idea of you, finally. We have officially concluded Nick's little back-to-back -back project era, where he did Bottoms, Red, White, Royal, Blue, Mary and George, Idea of You, all back-to-back, -back, um, and we don't know what he's up to now. So, like, that's just, that's kind of crazy. I don't know, it's a bit bittersweet. I've been covering all of this stuff in this very solid era of Nick Galatine and his current career, and this movie concludes that. I'm very excited to see what he gets up to next. We can only hope that includes a certain sequel to a certain little movie about a little pink book. More on that in a following video, um, and we will also still be going back and covering his older stuff that I haven't seen yet. Um, and yeah, that's my favorite motherfucking white boy. I know exactly! Um, comment, like, and subscribe, press the notification bell, because I don't have an uploading schedule, but I'm always up to- I'm always working on something, so... This has been a really great dinner. Thanks for coming over.